Who would you rather see as the Browns coach in 2020 if things don't go well for Freddie Kitchens? Would you like to see Freddie Kitchens or Jim Harbaugh? Jim Harbaugh. No, thanks. I, he, he, did, I, he had a, he had a better, when he was with San Francisco, he had a better start than Bill Belichick. Yeah, but I'm just, I don't know. Hard, right. Something about Harbaugh rubs me the wrong way. Here's the thing. If Harbaugh had gotten along with the front office in San Fran, he'd still be there. That's possible. I also don't think he'd want to be coaching against his brother twice a year, but that's a different story. Kevin Pyle says, are you serious? The only time I want Harbaugh anywhere in the state of Ohio is when the schedule calls for him to bring the team up north to the horseshoe to get another beatdown from the Buckeyes. <laughs> Kevin Quimby, Harbaugh, not even close. Oh, he wants Harbaugh. Why was Freddie not running the ball at the end of the game? Tim uh, Timothy Bober, without a doubt, Freddie Kitchens. I like Jim Harbaugh right where he's at. Beating the uh, team up north never gets old. Rick Mace is Freddie, but at this point, this is a choice of the lesser of two evils. Glenn Berger, Freddie Kitchens. Now, if you're uh, talking about John Harbaugh, that would be a different story. Mm -hmm. John Harbaugh is a very good NFL coach. Yeah, he is. Tim Gebhardt says, are you kidding? Right. Or you're kidding, right? Freddie, uh, Freddie, before we ever go with Harbaugh. So there you have it. Not uh, a popular Freddie, question. Uh, Freddie's of the day. turned it around a little bit, huh? Yes. Right, uh, right uh, in front of our eyes. Uh, three in a row. I, I thought had was... his team ready to play despite yeah. all the controversy stemming from the previous game. It was interesting to see how he would he would respond because uh, when he when they beat Pittsburgh. He didn't have time to enjoy it. That was the biggest win that That's he's right. ever had, and he didn't get to enjoy well, it and revel in it. I disagree it. there. I think the Ravens game in Baltimore was his biggest triumph to this point. But uh, the Steelers game, close second. Yeah, well, Harbaugh... Especially when you see what the Ravens have done since that loss. Yeah, well, that's that's true. They've basically been unstoppable. All right, this is Jim Harbaugh's coaching in the NFL. 2011, he was 13-3, and then he goes 11-4-1. Twelve and four and eight and eight overall. Look at that, forty-four, nineteen and one. And you're right. If he had a different front office, he probably yeah, that's is still the, there. Uh, but that's, that's NFC that. champions there for 2012 when he takes the uh, the NFC's Niners against the AFC's Ravens in the Harbaugh Bowl, and John beats them. That almost wasn't fair that those two had to play each other. Can you imagine being Mr. Harbaugh, <laughs> the father? Both, yeah. Both father your was sons a great coach. Coaching no, each team. No question about it. That was the. Um, that was the uh, the lights went out in the, yeah, in, uh, Superdome. the Superdome in New Orleans. Yeah. No question about that. 216-901-0945.